everybody, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Snow White, Disney Snow White, The Fairest of Them All Beauty Book. Now this is available at Walgreens, Walgreens.com, Drugstore.com, and it did come out a little while ago. I am late bringing this review. So if you're having a hard time finding it, it is already out, so you should see it in your local store, or like I said, you can get it online. Now this is very similar to the other beauty books that have been put out, like the Ariel one we just saw in July, or the ones that we've seen in 2012, 2013. This is not really a new product, but we do have a new princess, and she is Snow White. Now, I have a few um, pros and cons about this palette. Overall, the quality was fantastic, but for anybody that's a little bit more experienced with these palettes, might be disappointed to find that there is no long brush with this set, which has been common with all of the other sets. Instead, they opted to include a sponge tip applicator, which really doesn't give the best results for these shadows, really isn't the easiest to use, so I'm surprised that they unincluded the longer brush, though you can get it in the brush set for an additional $10. I believe it's $10 or $7.99, $9.99. It's still a bit pricey considering this itself is $7 to $10. I believe it's $10. So I was a little bit disappointed to see that. On top of that, we did get a primer this time. I believe Ariel didn't have the primer. And um, we received um, four, five, six, seven. Seven, sh yeah, seven shadows, which is less than the original ones, but um, close to, I forgot how many the Ariel had. So if you've been playing close attention, you might be happy or not so happy, depending on how you feel. But I'm glad they included the primer because it really makes the shadows pop. Now, unlike the Villains palettes, there is no insert here that shows you how it would look on the princess herself. But they do show you a little face in the mirror. I guess it's supposed to be reminiscent of that, like what you're supposed to and look like. And then they give you a step-by-step -step direction, step one, step two, step all the way through eight. So everything you need to know on how to create this look is right here on the side. So if you're new to makeup and you're like, well, you know, I see all this great product here, but I don't know how to create the look and I want to look like Snow White, they give you a step-by-step -step instruction. It's really easy to follow. Um, and you have all the names here. The only thing that's a little bit confusing is for the lips. It says, um... Like, I think it says a name for the lips, lip color. It says apple red lip color, but down here it just says elf lip color. It wasn't really clear on that. But let's get this all swatched up for you guys. Now, um, like I said, I found the quality phenomenal. It was, it was pretty decent for an elf uh, eyes lips face collection. Um, stuff is going to start flying out. That's another thing. It doesn't stay in like the other collections. It's a little disappointing. Um, I'm not going to apply the primer to my hand. I'm going to show you just how it looks without the primer and just know that it pops. The colors pop, last significantly longer, and are a little bit easier to apply. You just dab it on to your primer and it will last all day. So we have the sheer shades up here and these are meant to be under the brow in the inner corner of the eye. They're meant to highlight. And I like that they included three shades because different people with different skin tones can not always use the same highlighter. For example, somebody who's a darker skin color might get use out of this, but this might look a little bit just too light on them. So I like that they allowed you that, and you can also apply that to the inner corner, of, not the inner corner, but you can, but the in the middle of the lid to really highlight any of the other shades. Um, by the way, does anybody else find that aside from this blue here, that these three shades kind of remind me of, or kind of remind you of the M. Resi palette? Just a little bit? I don't know. So um, the first one I'm going to swatch up is called I'm Wishing. So let me get that swatched up. I'm Wishing. Very smooth, very buttery. I love how smooth they are. They're not chalky at all. Very velvety. Diamond Mine. And then the next one is Hi Ho. So those are the three highlight shades. And then we have four regular shades and we have Yodel. Yodel, which is still a little bit metallic, still can be used as a highlight. Um, out one song. This is a nice rich brown. Enchanted Fog. So you see you don't really need a primer, but with a primer these are going to pop. They're going to last a little bit longer. That's Enchanted Fog. And the last one is My Prince. This is a nice rich blue. I ran out of space. You're going to see in the, photo, in the photo swatches how well they swatched. Like the color pigmentation and everything. But you can see really, really catches the light well. Really going to make your eyes pop and look nice. Um, when I look at Snow White though, I don't remember her wearing pretty much any of these eyeshadows, so I was a little bit confused about that. Um, you do receive a pencil that's quite difficult to get out. You receive an eye pencil, it's just called eyeliner pencil. Maybe it has a name listed in the book, but I didn't see it. 
Um, and this is just a smooth eye pencil that can be blended out a little bit, but it also works to create the perfect cat eye line, etc. Or just a simple look. Um, like I said, you do get the little sponge tip applicator, and then you get a another little brush for the blush. I hate this brush. I didn't like the way it worked at all. And this is a nice peachy blush. Very smooth. Very natural looking. I'm running out of spots to swatch. Very natural looking. Um, even on my skin, um, it's pretty natural. It's going to give you just a natural flush. Yeah, I don't even think you can really see it. You'll see in the picture swatches because I, I'm not going to get it to show up on camera, unfortunately. And the last thing is the color. And this one says Brett at the bottom. And on the side it says Elf lip color. But in the booklet, it's referred to as the Apple Red lip color. So I don't, I don't know why it's called Brett. But uh, maybe that's the prince's name? I don't know. But it's in a lip gloss form. But it's actually surprisingly opaque when you apply it. Well, no. You know what? I, I'm terrible with that hand, so no. But it's pretty opaque when you apply it. It's not too sticky. Um, I, I mean, personally, I would apply this only if my lips were filled in with a liner, like a red liner or a pink and red liner, just to get the most out of that product. So overall, it's definitely a great book if you're a collector of the Disney princesses, if you're new to makeup, if you like, like I said, if you like collecting these sorts of things, this is perfect. But if you're somebody that's looking for, like, um, really high quality makeup, this isn't, this isn't it. I mean, it's high quality makeup, but I mean, you wouldn't throw this in your bag and this would be, you know, oh, I'm going to a wedding, let me bring my Snow White with me. No, but this is great for every day. This is great for high quality everyday makeup. Does that make sense? It's good on all levels. Overall, the swatches were fun. You'll see in the picture swatches, um, just cleaner, clearer swatches of these taken in natural light. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be on the lookout below for a Shop the Video link if you'd like to pick this up, make it convenient for you to buy it. Um, you can subscribe to my fashion blog, which is also going to be left below. And please follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust. Thank you so much for watching.